For it TV, the world is thinking. With regard to the threat, uh, we had to assess the position that uh, the United States and, in fact, the world is in. Uh, in doing that, we interviewed hundreds of, of experts uh, around the world, uh, traveled around the world, reviewed thousands and thousands of, of pages of information, uh, classified and unclassified, uh, and reached the conclusion, which we say right up front if you read the report, uh, that unless the current tra trajectory is changed, and we think it can be changed, uh, the margin of safety for the world against a weapons of mass destruction attack is shrinking on balance. And uh, we believe that within five years, we gave the year 2013, uh, it is more likely than not, it is probable that there will be a successful WMD attack against a city somewhere in the world, not necessarily in the United States. Some of the reports initially indicated in the United States, and certainly American cities are, would be on the target list, but not necessarily here. <clears throat> now, why do we say that? First of all, to understand, we're talking about a, a, a fluid situation that moves on a number of different tracks. Uh, Senator Graham likes to say, or actually, Dr. Allison says, uh, it's not that we haven't been running. We have been running. It's just that the other factors have been running faster. In other words, we are on balance losing ground. Our government is doing good things. Uh, one of the, the encouraging things when you interview people in the government is that there are tens and tens of thousands of people in government, in private life, in other governments, uh, and they're all dedicated to trying to prevent this from happening, and they are having an impact. Uh, but the forces that are shrinking that margin of risk are, we think, moving faster than we are right now. Uh, we know that the terrorists want to get weapons of mass destruction. It's perfectly plausible from, uh, or perfectly logical from their perspective that they would. We know they have tried to get it. We know they have the organizational sophistication to develop that capability. They do not have to become some entirely new order of organization in order to get either nuclear weapons or biological weapons. And we know that, and this may be the biggest factor, we know that the material and the, the knowledge necessary to develop those capabilities are growing. And, and they're becoming more and more available at a faster and faster rate. And our efforts to prevent that kind of proliferation uh, are, are not good enough. Uh, that's the intersection, the nexus between terrorism and proliferation. Now, why do we say uh, 2013? The point is to say this is a near-term threat. You know, Washington, the urgent always tends to crowd out the important. And so the point we wanted to make is, was that it was our unanimous consensus, which reflects the view in the intelligence community, as Admiral McConnell has said since we issued this report, that this is a near-term thing. This is not just important. Uh, the message we're sending to the Congress and the next administration, it's urgent. So it's never right to let the urgent crowd out the important, but in any event, that's not an issue here because this is both.